We got the men's final out in the water right now. Mihimana Bray out of uh, Tahiti representing the French flag against Samuel Pupo, who has the beach all behind the Brazilian. Mihimana, this was his opener, five-point ride. Yeah, and Bray has been on fire so far today. Two heat wins for him. Up and over the section right there. A foam climb for the second one. Wraps it back in the pocket. And way outside of the top ten coming into the event, he was number 70. That was a beautiful finish from the Tahitian surfer representing France. Really loved the way he was able to project coming out of that floater that just gave him some momentum moving down the line with a lot of speed. And Kaipo, the big boy from Tahiti, had a fifth place finish over there. It opened up with Sammy Pupo. This was 6.17, Mitchell. On the backhand, once again, Kaipo, great opening turn right there for Sam. Is able to generate a lot of speed in the pocket right there. And, you know, the way he's opened up in his heats have usually been slow. Not the case in this one. Great opening maneuver right there from the kid from Odyssea, Sao Paulo. Dressed the fins. And a bit conservative with the scores at the beginning of this one, Kaipo, knowing what both surfers are capable of, to me, this is just some beautiful and radical surfing from Sam. 6.17, as you mentioned. And this looks like it's going to be his backup score. That's just a 2.27, mm. wave number two. Well, you don't even want to be, yeah, you don't even want to be number seven or six yeah. because... Gabe Medina finished off the year at number six, right? And John John is right and around John there, John too. And John John finished up, I want to say. Yeah, so there's <laughs> that sneaky zone right there. You know, they've had a finalist on the Challenger Series this year. Vahine was able to make it over there in Belito. Miyamon is up and riding. Caught behind the white water. Oh. And finds a stab there. But you can say, you know, just the battle to get to the lip there. Didn't have speed to pull off that maneuver. Taking a look at his younger brother, Sammy, and in the background there of that shot was Octavio Pacheco, one of our Brazilian surf legends on hand here. Yeah, he surfed in the Legends heat earlier in this event. Really cool to see the Brazilian legends getting their flowers and the roses in front of them. He was able to beat a who's who of Brazilian surfing on that finals day and make it to the final against Felipe. This guy's been finding these one under priority all event long. Mihiman Abre, once again under priority, finds a little left. He will improve upon his scoreline. Yeah, 2.27 is what he's looking to improve on. And the French surfers always have a lot of support from their federation. Traveling here with Alain Ryu, and regardless if you're from one of the territories or from mainland France, you have a lot of support coming out of that squad right there. A lot of them, too. As looking at the replay here, a little bit of a setup turn for Mihimana, and able to really connect with the lip line right there for the second one. Some beautiful stuff. And I think the positioning on this one was crucial for him getting that second turn in. No doubt going to be the most consequential one out of the two on this wave right here. Great timing for the first one, but as you can see, just a projection snap down the line. Always had his eyesight set on this last turn right there. Even grabbed the rail a little bit. Showed a bit of variation right there, Kaipo. Here he goes. Ooh, Pupo, right. looking right. Flows to that section. Eases through a carve there. Wave steepens up. It's going to hit deep water, oh. but he slashes that section. One more stab into the lip. And a controlled float in the white water. Fist pump and applause on the beach. That's what he needs. He's going to take the lead. By a long shot. Opens up well. Down the line snap right there. But there's one carve in here that is just one of the most beautiful turns I've seen at Sakurama. That one. Fully extends the body, a lot of torque into it, and straight up and vertical afterwards, he fully annihilated that wave right there. Precise attack, a lot of flow, and great amount of momentum moving down the line the entire time. Let's follow him down the line on this aerial shot. Well, that carve was cool, but this one was sick. I mean, look at the body extension right there. Fully brings it around all the way, and it set him up perfectly to be in the pocket for that lip line hit. So 17 minutes on the clock. I feel like this is going to be a huge score right now for Sam. And one of the few rights that we've seen out of that day. But look at that technique. Hands in place, body in position, over his board the entire time. And that fade with that carve set him up for that top turn right there. So no doubt going to extend his lead. And our champion's trophy. Could our champion be here in the way of Samuel Pupo? Yes, it could. He's in the lead over Mihimana Bray. We have been extremely fortunate with having good waves and a lot of swell on offer for most events, Kaipo. Talked about an air. 
Let's see if Sammy Pupo can find the ramp. Wave goes rampless after that dead section, but you saw what his intent was as he was trying to build up speed down the line. His brother on the CT now, Kaipo, as it seems like Miyamana up and riding. Miyamana picks up one off. Patient approach there, loose rails, oh. throws the tail, throws a big snap for Mihimana Bray. And this wave stretching out, giving him a ton of opportunity. But remember, he needs to go way excellent. He needs a 9.17. That was some great surfing. Um, I'm sure we'll see more on the replay. Some great surfing, but... It ain't a night. That's what I was fishing for. Yeah, looking at the replay here, way outside in terms of the drop up and over the section and then this wave stands up through this mid part right here goes to town straight up and vertical good amount of pressure on the back foot with that layback right there that was a critical section and a critical turn up and over the floater with the foam climb and then that wave or that section excuse me on that wave just really flat at the end so if he does improve on the five i don't think it's going to be a huge number but there were a couple of turns that were of consequence this one right here really kicks the tail pad when he's coming out of it. But this to me, the money turn on this wave, fully stretches out, lays back right there and commits to that one section through the middle part of it. Then Italo and Felipe in 22, and then this year, Felipe taking out Ethan Ewing in the final match of lower trestles. Some incredible stuff from the Brazilians the last three years on the CT. Sammy, let's... Mihimana go on this one, knowing that that wave doesn't have a quality. If anything, that did for, he broke for away. Mihimana. He broke away. Yeah. Let's count it down because your 2023 Corona Sakurima Pro Champion, Samuel Pupo. There's the Pupo family. There's a proud mom there. And as she should be, she's got two kids back on the championship tour. <laughs> one of the great surfing families out of Brazil. Gets the win here in Sacuarema. Had a good performance last season at the Challenger Series level, but first major win in Brazil for Samuel Pupo. Get to see him on the podium, and he's going to be rejoining his brother with the very elite, once again, Kaipo on the CT.